friends, how's everyone doing? I'm Jazzarina and welcome on in to my live reaction of the Nintendo Direct of 2023. The day is February 8th of 2023 and we are just going to be reacting to the new Direct. So, welcome into the live. <laughs> um, we're just going to be chilling to some lo-fi for a little bit before we go into the actual Direct because there isn't anything for another 10 minutes so i just wanted to go 10 minutes early just so we could talk a bit about predictions still and just discuss on what we think will appear what i want to appear i already made a detailed video on it over on my youtube channel at jazz arena it's linked in the description along with my discord and instagram and all that fun jazz but yeah welcome again on into the stream and yeah so I want to start with just some predictions. <laughs> so in my video, I just kind of quickly went over like my thoughts on what's going to happen. I know for certain that they're going to be announcing a new trailer for Tears of the Kingdom, The Legend of Zelda. Um, that's almost a given. It's very clear that they're going to. They've been talking about it for the past couple of directs now. I believe that the game is coming out this year, earlier this year. Um, and I know that they're going to be discussing it at some point during this direct, um, along with the trailer, or at least like a, I don't know, I feel like they're going to talk about the Mario movie still. It's going to be coming out in April, and they need to at least like make one full trailer, because it's all been like teasers or something, so I feel like they're going to be at least making one more Mario trailer before the movie comes out. Um, so definitely... Tears of the Kingdom and Mario trailer. Those are, I feel like, both a given. There's gonna be a lot of anime RPGs and things like that. It's always in Nintendo Directs, but they actually did mention in this Direct that it's going to be more focused on games that are releasing this year or this month or whatever, um, and that they're going to be Nintendo games. So it might not be anime RPGs or anything. It might just very well be Nintendo games, which is fine. Um, I would actually prefer that, but we're gonna see how it pans out <laughs> and see what's gonna happen. Um, I, for one, am always a fan of Nintendo Directs. I always have been, but just over the past couple of years, they haven't really been too good, you know? Um, they've just kind of been a bit lackluster and haven't really shown what we want to see if you look at the comments and look at the chat and everything you'll clearly tell that no one really likes what's being shown um so i feel like they're going to try and uh tone that down a little bit and maybe learn because this is like a new year so maybe they're gonna try and like learn from their past mistakes and try something new and kind of go back to their old style which would be much much better um, and it might be like a shorter direct then in that reason, but I honestly, like I said, I don't mind it as long as they show some really, really, really good Nintendo games, I will be happy. Um, I don't think anything from Mario, and I don't think anything from Zelda in game-wise as a new game. Obviously, Tears of the Kingdom is a new game, but it's not new to us, it's just a new game in general. I don't think they're going to be releasing like a new Zelda game right now or a new Mario game because they're working on the uh, Universal Studios, they're working on the new movie, they're working on so much. So I truly don't feel like they're going to be talking about that. Um, but as for the rest of them, Kirby no as well because we just got Kirby in the Forgotten Land last year, right? I think it was last year. We just got Kirby in the Forgotten Land last year. Um, so I don't think that we're going to be getting Kirby in the Forgotten Land or, like, anything with that. We might get a DLC, but we're definitely not going to get a new game. That's, like, almost a given as well. Um, Splatoon, no, possibly a DLC, but I, I really don't think so as well because they just came out with a game. Um, I'm trying to, like, think of the main franchises of Nintendo because it's Mario, uh, Zelda, Kirby... Animal Crossing. I do think that they could make a side game, but that's, again, very unlikely, I feel. Um, they could make... Um, I don't know, I feel like those are, like, the main ones, and I don't see really any of those being shown in this direct. So, I've, 
I don't know what they're gonna show. They might make a DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Although I did not like it, a lot of people liked it. Actually, six million copies were sold. Four million of those being sold in the first week of the game being launched. So I truly don't like, I don't think a new Pokemon game, but I do think that they're going to at least make like DLC for it in the near future. So in this direct and another direct, something like that. Um, I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to think, I really don't know what they're going to show. Like I said, I already discussed this in my video, but I just wanted to go over it again because we're now five minutes early and I have to, you know, fill the space. <laughs> so I just, I don't know, like I said, Nintendo Directs are obviously amazing to me because I love games. Nintendo has been a big portion of my life and then it kind of like switched, not switched over, but then it also went over and spanned across the PlayStation as well and um, companies like Naughty Dog and Sony and everything like that. So it definitely kind of like I brought in my horizon, but Nintendo is still a big part of my life. I mean, most of the games that I'm literally looking at right now are from Nintendo because I have a shelf above here. Um, there's not many games that I own are, that are not from uh, Nintendo. So Nintendo is a big portion of my life. And obviously, like I said, directs are also a huge portion. They display indie games that are sometimes really good. Like they have Story of Seasons and stuff. They could announce a uh, Wonderful Life, Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life. I believe that's coming out in April. Don't quote me on that, but I think that it might be. Um, and just like, there's a lot of indie games that come out and some of them are really good, some of them aren't. Um, they also show obviously a lot of Nintendo games that are like Kirby and Mario and Zelda and, uh, Splatoon, Pokemon, Animal Crossing, like those are all the main games <laughs> in Nintendo. Um, so I feel like Nintendo Directs are just amazing, right? Um, but like I said, they haven't been too good in the past couple of years, but this might change. It's a new year. It's new Nintendo. I believe that they turned off the chat, the live chat, and they also are only showing like really Nintendo games, which is definitely a new thing. At least they did that before, but then they changed it over, but people really have not liked it. So now they're switching back. They're, they're seeing what they did and they're trying to learn from it. So... This new Direct might be revolutionary. And also, revolutionary, they could mm, announce a console. They could announce that they're gonna be making a new console. And I did the math the other day because I have been looking into this for a while. I don't know if anyone else has, but I saw that the pattern for Nintendo consoles, at least home consoles, goes through either four, five, or six years of a span between each. The most recent one being 2021 when they released the OLED, which I am going to assume that they are going to be making and releasing the new console in 2026. I know that's a really far stretch and I know that's probably not going to happen, but with the stuff that I was looking at, it seems highly plausible that they could be releasing a new console in 2026, which means it's three years away and they could possibly show at least a trailer, like at least a little smidgen. They could at least say, we're working on a new console. They don't have to even release a trailer or anything, but they could at least say that they are, you know, like that could happen. So we are going to now hop over to the nintendo direct let's see nintendo direct let's look it up nintendo uh, direct and we are going to see for ourselves whether these predictions are true, untrue, if my wants will even come true, and how this new direct is going to change this new year for Nintendo. Um, and like I already mentioned, tune in for a Nintendo Direct live stream featuring roughly 40 minutes of information mostly focused on Nintendo Switch games launching the first half of 2023. So that is kind of good. I feel like that's kind of big. I look now orange in this lighting. Um, but man, it's gonna happen in like a minute. <sighs> Nintendo Directs are fun. They are fun. 
They are fun. And something could happen. Like, we could have something. We could have something big, and we could just have a normal direct. I've been doing this for the past couple of years now where I've been live reacting, and they haven't been too good. But remember when we did get that Nintendo Direct with Animal Crossing? Remember that time? That was a time for the history books. That was just, like, an amazing, amazing time. I loved that time so much. <laughs> I really did. Um, it's sad that uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons is probably not going to get any new updates. But it's still happy to think back to those moments when, like, everything was just so new. And things are still new. Like, I am still discovering things day to day on my island. Like, new dialogue and, like, new things that, oh, man... Uh, new things that, okay. Yes. They could change. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Let's just, let's just start. I'm gonna hire it a little bit on my end. You're probably gonna hear, like, um, echo or, but. I need to be able to hear it too, you know? I don't have headphones, so. Again, probably like an anime RPG thing. It's the Earth. <laughs> oh, okay, Pikmin 4. I forgot about that completely. I'm not a Pikmin fan, but I know a couple of people, especially one of the YouTubers that I watch, uh, the Bitblock. <laughs> he is a huge fan of Pikmin, so this might be exciting. Ooh, a plastic bottle. <laughs> a plastic bottle. Those birds are cute. I've never... Uh, I've never been a fan of Pikmin, but I've never really known what Pikmin is. I've never, like, looked at it and really seen- I know that it's about, like, the small things in, like, the earth and, like, seeing the beauty of different things while, like, making it look a little bit weird. But I've never really, like, truly looked into Pikmin. I never have, but it does look interesting. Razor! Hello! Welcome back! Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day, and I hope that you're excited for this Nintendo Direct. I hope you are! I have a wants and predictions video on my YouTube discussing what I think is gonna happen. I already kind of glossed over it earlier, but I have a lot of predictions on what is going to, uh, what's gonna happen. I also did the math, and I'm thinking that a new Nintendo console might come out in 2026. Don't quote me on that. I don't think that it will, but with the math, it comes out, a new home console for Nintendo comes out every four, five, or six years, so they might, like, announce something here. It very well could. Uh, looks like I was watching a delay version of the Direct, I was like, hmm, why is this starting? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's not good, but right now it's just showing Pikmin. I, like I said, I've never really been a huge fan of Pikmin, but it does look... Interesting. It looks fun. <laughs> it looks weird, and I think that it would be fun to at least try out. I like this dog. We oh, found a castaway. Man, you just... You just throw them? <laughs> you just throw them, okay. Doggo, I know. Bailey isn't up here right now. Bailey is not up here. But at least this dog goes on the screen to, to make up for it. Alright. <laughs> yeah, you throw them like baseballs. That seems like a little bit aggressive, but like, if it gets the job done... Who am I to judge? Alright. Is this more? I'm assuming. This is, oh no, this is after everything is, like, destroyed. Everything was just so colorful. Oh no! <laughs> oh man, okay. Hello. 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 <laughs> cool. Spooky night, yes, you have to bow. Okay, I have to bow. There. Oh, gotta do the whole snap too. A jewel-loving hero. 
I said it in my predictions. I knew that they were going to come out with a DLC or an expansion for Xenoblade Chronicles. I knew it! I knew it. See? I told ya. I'm not a fan of the anime RPG things, but with every direct, they always do. See? One prediction already came true. Very respectful. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Sometimes I just, like, say myself going, like, uh-huh, like I'm actually talking to them. It's bad. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yes, they have to satisfy the gamers. They have to, even though I've, I've never been a fan of Xenoblade or Bayonetta or anything, but they always seem to show them. Oh, man, this guy looks... He's a heartless machine! <laughs> the drama. The drama. Yeah, go. <laughs> Look at these bears in the back. Look at them just absolutely owning it. The Sega Monkey. <laughs> Oh man, this is fantastic. Look at these guys jamming in the back. Oh my gosh, they are having a blast. Look at them. Wow, 100%. How, how many tries do they have to do that to get to 100%? How many tries? World party! Woo! Yeah, grab those controllers! Look at those people in the back! Wow. Time to dance until it- yes. Just like Just Dance. Oh, is this like one of those mobile games that- Wow. That's kind of cute, though. I could see this more on mobile than on a, um, the Switch, but it's so cool. Oh, yeah. Woo! Work it! <laughs> oh, they do the Rune Factory games? Really? I've heard of them for other games, too. What other games have they made? I need to go see. I need to see. Um, exceed games. Do they create like story of seasons and stuff too? Okay, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I knew it looked familiar. Oh, wow! Oh, Castlevania. Is it? I do kind of like this pixel art style, though. It's cool. It's more detailed, for uh, for for sure. Tron. It's the future. The future is near. This is what the future is going to look like in a couple of years, guys. Get prepared. Wow. Wow. 
Yeah, they are pretty cool. I do like that. Who's there? <gasps> oh no! Oh no. <laughs> that can't be good. No. I don't think so. What? Me! <laughs> I'm trying to be positive here, you know? I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I mean, it's an interesting concept. I can't wait to wear the R RGP clothing all day. RPG. What does RPG mean? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's the Grand Chase! Oh my goodness. Oh no! Oh yes, it's the police! But the anime police. And they're going into pods. He's using so much brain power that he can create all these things. Oh my gosh. Uh, RB, RGB, RGB means red, green, blue. Like, you know, the PC. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, lots of detective like games. Yes. Oh my gosh. The jewelry. Oh no. Oh wow. She looked evil. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hi, Tessa. Hi, hi. Jewel Eaters. Again, with the RPG games. The anime RPGs always come back. They're always around the corner waiting. <laughs> wow. 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 I told you, Bayonetta! Bayonetta! See? Two of my predictions are correct! Actually, three, because I said, like, a bunch of things for anime RPGs. A last director was farming games, now it's- yes. <laughs> it went from farming games to anime RPGs and detective games. I love how my least favorite predictions are coming true so far. <laughs> I never- I've never even looked into Bayonetta. Never have. It might be good, I just- I've never played it. Wow. She sure seemed happy. <laughs> Let's go! Is she a Australian? Let's go! Or, um, is it British? Because, uh, Laura Croft kind of sounds like that. How is that? How is that? Oh, woo. I... Listen. I love Splatoon just as the next person does, but... I know, this is DLC. But... This game, at least just from what I saw, just seems so similar similar to Splatoon 2. Like, I... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Expansion pack! <laughs> Of 
Angopolis, okay, so it's like another shopping district? Okay. So you're just... But these are my complaints. Or at least, these are new characters, but I just said the first game being your stopping point. Are these the first characters from the first game? I didn't really play much of the first game. But now you're just taking the old game and putting it into this one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like... It just feels like we're using a lot. It does. Woo! I love how it's like a competition. It's like, hey, do you like me more or me more? <laughs> Uh, money, money, yes. Never played any Splatoon. I have played the second one. I picked up the first one, but I got the, uh, second one, like, right after. And, of course, the second one is- has more stuff than what the first one did, so I played the first one. And I never really touched the- um, or I played the second one, but I never really touched the first one after that. Um, but the third one, it just looks so similar to the previous two games. I was like, why am I gonna get this for $60? It just doesn't seem- I don't know. Why is this so creepy? Okay, this looks... Interesting. What is going on? What in the creepy? <laughs> what in the... Creepy? What in the... Resident Evil? What in the... <laughs> I really thought for a second that it was a different game. Yeah, turning into a horror game? Exactly. Okay. Well, I will definitely have to see what the side order is, because that one looks pretty cool. I don't think it's gonna be a game changer for me, but it does look pretty cool. I'm gonna need to, like, watch some gameplay on that. That looks pretty, uh, creepy. <laughs> pretty creepy for a Splatoon game. Yes. Thank you all very much. No problem. I wasn't the one, but... What about Pluto? 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 Was he erased? So like Kirby? This just feels like Kirby. But Mar or not Mario, but um Mickey Mouse. I mean I'm not not against it. It just feels like Kirby. <laughs> with the whole hugging thing to get more hearts. And with the whole like style in general. Looks pretty cool. I probably wouldn't play it, but it does look cool. Not against it. Ah, oh, Fire Emblem. <laughs> I said Persona 5, not Fire Emblem. Darn it. Darn it. Part 4? Oh my gosh. Oh, Fire Emblem. emblem of Modify the to hinder Ugh. 
Yeah, it's like Gotcha or um, Geshen Impact. Veronica. It just looks like a mobile game. Like, they have all the cool art, and then it's this. Which just looks like a mobile game. <laughs> Xenolog? Is it a Xenoblade Chronicles Fire Emblem crossover? Wow. Oh yay! I'm gonna need a I need to go right now to go play that. <laughs> Take control of your destiny. Interesting. Again, it's another one of the anime or cartoon or but at least it has some storyline to it. Yeah, right away. <laughs> that does yes, it does look like a game. It's a it's a thing. Yeah, anime style western game. Yes. Oh my goodness, if they release another Octopath Traveler, I swear I'm gonna have some beef. With Nintendo. <laughs> it's Fire Emblem, Persona, Bayonetta, Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, Octopath, it's all that every single time. <laughs> I've been playing the gacha game of Octopath since release, really? It... And I thought that they showed this one last time, too. I mean, it's not... Like, it looks like one of the better pixel art games. It's just that they show it every single time in the Nintendo Direct. And I feel like they've shown it so much already that it's like... Is it pretty fun? I just... I don't know. I think it's just because I've never been that big of a fan of pixel art games. It's just when they keep putting it out more and more. It's... It's like when they show too much in a movie trailer and you're like, please, I don't want to see the whole movie. You know? It's... I don't know. They were just rolling people up, my goodness. Sea of Stars. Wow, the, he just evaporated, my goodness. Ooh, a dragon. Like, these, yes, they are definitely more detailed than, like, the older pixel art games. It's just that we see them so often. I don't know. They're definitely, like, very talented to do pixel art. I can never do- I can barely do pixel art on Animal Crossing. But, I don't know, we just see so many of these games all the time. In Nintendo Directs. Air hockey style! Who's the hockey puck? <laughs> yeah, I I can draw, I can paint, I can do digital art, I just can't do pixel art. It's- my brain then malfunctions. <laughs> it's like too much of the, like, little things that like trying to focus on it makes my eyes hurt. Alright, let's see. Oh my goodness. Anime. <laughs> Okay, so I'm assuming it's a port? Oh, this looks like it would be dizzy. Because <laughs> you go like, whoop, whoop, whoop. You can even I mean, that's cool, I guess. Yeah, it seems like it would be a hard game. Dark but be warned, every is 
character is fraught with danger. Danger! It looks like um some of the DS games that I used to play. I'm assuming this was a um N64 game or something. I'm assuming. Okay, Etrian Odyssey. Uh oh, they are from the DS. See, I told you. <laughs> That's cool though. Uh, hydrate. Okay, hydrate. It is. This looks pretty. It's anime again, but does it actually look like this? There. <laughs> Does it actually look like this, though? It did look pretty cool, though, from the trailer. Today? Oh, no. Okay, Kirby in Dreamland. I said it! Another prediction! Another prediction! <laughs> I knew they were going to show it. It's pretty obvious. They've been talking about it a lot. I played this one on the Wii. It was fun. I like this a lot. Um, I like the Throwing Stars game. That one was fun. I like the, um... What's it called? Which other game was it? Huh. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Queen, thank you. <laughs> okay, cool. So it's just Kirby, but it's the this guy that's kind of cool yes more content is definitely always fun are they gonna put it at 60 dollars though i mean i guess with like the expansion is more like it's gonna make more but we hope you're looking forward to the new story in Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Next, here's some news about Nintendo Switch Online. Please take a look at this. Is it going to be a GameCube thing now? Game Boy. Okay, not going to lie. I like ga I like a uh, Game Boy. I played the Game Boy a lot. <laughs> okay. Tetris. I act like I play any of this because I don't have the subscription, but it's still cool. I haven't played any of these, <laughs> but let's see if I played any of the ones on this list. Oh, it's the um the one that got remastered. I never played the original. <laughs> this, this looks uh, really cool, though. I have not played any of these so far. I played Rugrats. In the Sims game, and I also watch Spongebob on my GameCube. On my, not on my game, on my Game Boy. <laughs> Time to pay more for Nintendo Online subscription, kids. Yes. Alone in the Dark? Oh no, I don't want to be alone in the dark. Ooh. 
So far, ones that I have not played. <laughs> Uh, why are they putting Pokemon games on the game on the Game Boy one? I mean, <gasps> I did play this one, didn't I? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I played Kirby Superstars. That's right. Darn it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So are those the games that they're going to be coming out with? I mean, there are a lot of games. Ooh. And, oh no. Bing! <laughs> Bing! Ooh. I think I had the Game Boy Advance. If I remember. <laughs> Ooh. Cool. Wow. <laughs> um, but I don't know if they're gonna be put- I saw one Pokemon game so far. This looks difficult. Super Circuit! Whoa. <laughs> they just spun. WarioWare? That's great. I've never played WarioWare. A lot of people like it, though. I've just never played it. The Superstar Saga? That's pretty good. The Kirby Superstar? Or the, um... Or is there another Superstar? That I don't know about. <laughs> Because the uh, WarioWare is just fun for wackiness of minigames. It's- I know that it's like, uh, what's it called? It's obviously like Mario Party, but Wario. <laughs> uh, the Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Oh, okay, yeah. I was like, someone knows about the, uh... <laughs> I was like, someone knows about the Kirby Superstars? But no. So far, it hasn't really been anything fun, at least for me. I mean, the Kirby Return to Dreamland, yes. But I already have it on the Wii, and I own the Wii, so it's... Like, mm. the only ports that I really like getting are DS ones because it's a huge difference going from the DS to the Switch. So having that like jump is really nice. But having games that are already on the Wii just kind of, I don't know. Uh, kind of same only Octopath too. Uh, and I already knew. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, like I said. Kirby is fun, but it's... I already played it. I mean, yes, I haven't played the, the new version of it, but is that going to be really worth $60 to play, like, a new thing? Like, that's the whole deal, you know? And it kind of sucks, but... <laughs> but, you know... My wants, which like I said, I already made the video on it, and I don't remember everything that I said, but my wants were to have an Animal Crossing side game, because an Animal Crossing side game would just be amazing. Obviously, they're not going to be adding anything new to New Horizons. It's a given. We know this already. Come on. We can't stop thinking that there's going to be something new. We have to stop torturing ourselves like this, okay? There's not going to be a new Animal Crossing New Horizons update. There's not. But a side game would be really fun. Whether it's something new or whether it's a, uh, like, pocket camp thing but make it console related. Or, I know this is controversial. I know, I know, I know. A better version of Amiibo Festival. More like Mario Party. Come on. I know this is controversial. But please. <laughs> Just something fun. Like a New Horizons... Like, a New Horizons feel, but something new. Because 
With a side game, normally you're able to play it without having to actually, like, ha own the main game first. And that's what they did with, um, Happy Gone Paradise, and I don't like that. It kind of, like, I don't know. If you don't want to have a $60 game along with a DLC, it, I don't know. I mean, like, yes, I own AC and H, and I have Happy Gone Paradise, but, like, anyone who doesn't and they just want to play Happy Gone Paradise can't. Which is super annoying, so I hope that they release a side game that doesn't link to New Horizons. If you do have New Horizons and, like, it can be compatible, maybe, but I want to be able to play it without having to have New Horizons, you know? I just want an Animal Crossing side game, please. Um, Mario would be amazing, but I know for sure there's not going to be a Mario game in here because they already have the amusement park, the movie, just everything. They're working on so much. So I really don't think so. And the DLC for Mario 3D Land. I just really don't see it. Um, or 3D World. Um, so I don't see a new Mario game. But if I did, I would love to see a Mario Odyssey 2. And then I would love to see a game by EA on the Switch. I would love to see a new Sims Castaway game. Or my Sims game. I'm just saying. <laughs> That would be my wants. Mario the movie video game? Maybe it, like, follows the storyline? I mean, that might be interesting. What is this? Rain Code. Uh, anime RPG. Oh my- Is this Xenoblade Chronicles? <laughs> just got back. It's just showing more anime RPGs. Okay, no, it's Baton... Kratos. It sounds, it sounds like Kratos, like God of War. Wow. <laughs> Beethoven. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, wow, look at those bananas. They look really green. <laughs> Cray toast, yes. Crazy toast. The crazy toast. Well, that person battling, they're like, burr, burr, burr. Did you see them? Because I did, and it was crazy. Bait in K toast. <laughs> Plantains. I knew. Okay. The art style is kind of cute. Oof. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Why I said oof. It's not like terrible. It's just kind of bad. A mysterious girl. Who you make friends with for some reason. You call her mysterious and then you become friends with her. It's Animal Crossing! <laughs> oh my goodness, it's literally Animal Crossing slash an RPG. Yeah, it's kind of like My Sims but also Animal Crossing. Oh my goodness, it's Animal Crossing. <laughs> no. Wow, the girl who steals time. This direct is stealing time. Oh my goodness, is this another anime thing? I will cry. I won't actually. Is that a person or a monkey? Okay, it's a person. And he has little beady eyes. Professor Layton? Okay, you know what it is, Razor. Okay, we already knew this. It was another one of my predictions. I'm getting good with this predicting. <laughs> oh, Yoshi Island. That's cool. Okay, I'm liking this. Okay. Okay. 
Alberto? Wait, what? They're adding a character? They're adding Birdo finally? They're adding Birdo finally. They're adding Birdo finally. Oh my goodness. But like, why do they always have to release games unfinished? They should have added Birdo when they first released the game. Okay. Minecraft Legends. <laughs> okay. Mom's favorite, Birdo. <laughs> yes, Birdo is a fun one. I'm just surprised that they didn't release her sooner. It's just so random to have the tracks and just randomly be like, oh yeah, here's her character. Here's Birdo. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so much Mega Man to do. Mega Man. Where's Mega Man? <laughs> wow. It's Wii Sports, but not. Okay. That's cute. It's just so sad because I feel like there was a lot of potential for this game, but no one has, like, played it. I've never seen... Alright, I have seen people play it, but it was, like, for the first couple of weeks. Oh, like, some seconds ago. Okay. Anime Wii Sports, yes. <laughs> It's probably gonna be like Tears of the Kingdom. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh! The poor people! <laughs> the poor people of Hyrule! I'm sorry, but for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, I just find it so funny that that Zelda was like, "You're not gonna be able to stop them," and then he's like, "Yes, I can." Whee! I don't know. That was just hilarious. That was just. Oh my gosh, he's got a tractor. He's got a balloon. Whoa! Goodness, that was hilarious. Wow. Please, let me see your power. <gasps> that was the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> oh, wow. It's very soon. Whoa. Whoa. It's Link.
for what? Wow. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you guys so very much for tuning in and watching. We got... I'll be real. I'm, I'm not trying to be hateful or anything. I... Listen. It was a cool direct with everything, but I could easily predict everything that happened. And it's not fun... When you can predict what's going to happen. I was kind of hoping that when I was like, oh, this is definitely going to be Tears of the Kingdom, that it was like something other than Tears of the Kingdom. But it wasn't. It was Tears of the Kingdom. And yes, it was a very cool thing. I I agree. But I don't know. Uh, the day before my graduation. Now I know what Jasmine will be doing at my graduation. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for stream. No problem. It was just very, ex yes, it was very expected. It was very, you already knew what was going to happen, like, every time. I knew that at the end it was going to be, like, some, something that we already knew, something that we already saw. It was very safe, yes. They very they played it very safe, and I want something that's going to, like, blow me away. <laughs> and I was hoping that with, like, a new year that we were going to have something, like, brand new and exciting and things, but we didn't really get that, and I'm a little bit upset but i mean it's it's all right it's not terrible i can live with it <laughs> so thank you all so 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 very much for tuning in and watching i had a good time here and i hope that you guys did as well thank you so very much tessa and razor for joining into the stream i appreciate it very much and thank you to anyone who is lurking um my voice just cracked. <laughs> it was very fun. Hope you have a good day. Thank you so much. And I hope that you do as well. Have a good rest of your day. Stay well, stay safe, take care, and I will see you all very, very soon in the next stream, <laughs> which is going to be hopefully on the weekend. So bye. Stay well. I love you all. You all are the greatest. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye.